All right, sports fans, Chris Corey here kicking off the show. Some news coming from the world of para hockey here in New Brunswick. We've actually got a, a New Brunswick team going to the Nationals for the first time. We're going to be making history here in the para world here for New Brunswick. So we're going to chat with our coach here, Sean Lucas, joining us. Sean, how's it going? Going fantastic. How's it going today? Hey, doing great, doing great. I appreciate you taking some time here for us. Obviously, you're busy getting ready here for the big tournament coming up here in Quebec, uh, the national tournament here for the, the para team. First time New Brunswick represented in this now seven-team tournament. How excited are you for these New Brunswick athletes to be able to get up there and uh, represent the province on the national level? I'm beyond excited for this group to get there. This is something that is long overdue for, for our athletes here in New Brunswick. Um, I've competed as an athlete at this tournament multiple times in the past. And so getting to have this opportunity to share that experience with that next generation of athletes, it's, it's incredible. And it's going to be fantastic to see them finally achieve something that they've worked hard for. Yeah, absolutely. So May 17th to the 21st in Boucherville, Quebec, uh, going to be the national tournament. You mentioned yourself you'd, you've competed uh, in para hockey as well. What was it that sort of gets you involved in uh, para hockey or sledge hockey? I suffered a workplace accident in my early 20s. Um, spent a number of years, you know, dealing with everything that comes with a life-changing, life-altering accident uh, that young. Um, I finally saw para hockey at the 2010 Paralympics and it kind of ignited that side of me. I was a high level competitive uh, football player um, before my injury. So for me, getting back that speed, that contact, when I saw it, um, it immediately drew me to it. I got involved in it and the experiences that I've met or that I've had, the people that I've met, the, the way it changed my life um, is something that I now want to continue to pass on to everybody else. So when I retired, I went into coaching and training athletes and getting that that next generation, like I said, ready to have those same kind of life changing experiences, the mental health, the physical health, that the connection to community that comes with being active in sports is something that, that you know, it's life life changing in so many ways. So the more that we can do to provide that opportunity to, to people the better it is. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, you know, how important is it for those athletes uh, to be able to compete, uh, have an activity like that to go out and compete in, uh, whether they're fully abled or disabled, uh, you know, to, to help them sort of either, you know, deal with an injury or sort of uh, uh, keep an active lifestyle here when uh, overcoming some challenges. It's incredibly important. And, you know, there's, there's, something very special about representing your province and yep. going and the pride that comes with that and the pride that your support network has, your family, your friends, you know, your coworkers, everybody ends up being a part of an experience like this and, and you're out there and you're supporting your your loved ones. And, and you know, for, for our group, they're out there, they're, they're representing our province, they're representing everybody around them. So it's an incredible thing and it, it, it just means so much to this. Yeah, well, he said basically making history as well. First time that you're going to be competing here as a team for New Brunswick at the national level. You got 16 players on the team from all over New Brunswick. How are you getting them ready uh, to go up to this tournament here in a couple of weeks in Boucherville? Working. <laughs> That's the biggest <laughs> thing is, you know, making sure that we have a cohesive team. One thing I find about uh, us here in New Brunswick is we refuse to give up. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a being the 17th coming in, a smaller province. Um, you know, you're, you're not quite sure what your identity is going to be, but as soon as I got these athletes on the ice, you could see immediately that our identity will be that we don't give up. We will never give up on a play. We will never give up on a game. So we'll be a very tough out, be tough for some of those more established teams to play. Yeah. Um, and we might surprise some people over there. Yeah, I think you have a uh, sort of wide age range on the team as well, anywhere from from you know 16 to 60 sort of thing. Maybe tell us a little about the uh, the age difference here, maybe in some of the players. Uh, we definitely do. Uh, New Brunswick will actually have the two oldest um, players at the tournament, and we also have the two youngest athletes at the tournament as well. So um, we definitely have a, a wide range. With us, it's not the same as you know you've grown up playing a sport where you know you went through timbits, and, and as you got older, you get went through those those different age groups. With us, you could be somebody who's 40 years old, you've just experienced your injury, and you've just got into a sled, and now you're a Timbit, you're a 40 year old Timbit. Yeah. But you could be somebody who, you know, you were born with a disability and you've been in a sled since you were three, four years old. And so by the time you're, you know, you're, you're 14, 
you're an expert at the sport. We have a, a, a few players like that that have been in sleds their whole life. And, you know, you can see they, they play at an elite level despite their, their age. So it is definitely a big age range, especially for us here. I um, mean, we're pretty proud of that. Yeah, well, he said a big age range, but uh, the team also consists, uh, he said, pretty diverse team, guys, girls. Uh, maybe tell us a little bit about the sort of the, the chemistry you guys have where, uh, you know, all athletes uh, are able to play. Uh, we have, as you said, a, a gender diverse roster. Um, in the world of disability, you know, disability affects 15% of the population. Disability doesn't care about your um, your race, your gender, anything along those lines. So it affects everybody. So when you get into parasports, you learn very quickly that the entire population is represented there. So for us, if you can play, you can play. This is where you belong. Yeah. Uh, like you said, so, so, so the players here, basically the cream of the crop, going to represent the Nationals. Do you guys have local leagues as well where uh, players can come out even if they're able-bodied and, uh, and play uh, in, in the sledge team? Most definitely. Um, so you only need a disability to play at the, the international level. Mm -hmm. um, you can be able-bodied, as you said, and play up to that, to that level. We, um, we have local teams uh, throughout the, the province of New Brunswick. Uh, we also have a maritime league that players can travel and compete against other cities in. Um, and then, you know, we do have players who are from the men's national team roster, the women's national team roster. So there's a, a lot of hockey that's being played by this group. Yep. Uh, like you said, a lot going into this tournament. Obviously, you're, you know, behind the scenes as well, yourself being the coaching staff. What, uh, what else is going on behind the scenes with some of the, the volunteers and coaches that you have uh, helping out here with the roster? It's actually been amazing. When we first started this, it was completely athlete funded. There was no support from anybody. And we went into this tournament knowing that that was going to be the case. The community, um, we've got com corporate sponsorships. We've had, you know, Hockey New Brunswick and people like that step up to the plate and, and start to make sure that we have what we need. So there's been a lot of work that's been going on behind the scenes. You know, our, our team management, our team staff, lots of learning, lots of growing, lots of trying to see what we can do to provide that, that high level national class experience for our athletes. So yep. as I said, there's a lot of work that goes beyond it goes on behind the scenes for something like this, but we are we are all incredibly passionate about the need for this to happen, uh, for New Brunswick to be represented at this tournament, not just this year, but going forward and making sure that this is something that is available to our athletes every every single year. So we are are very passionate about it. We are very dedicated, and we are getting a lot of work done behind the scenes. Yeah, well, like you said, a, a big kudos to you for uh, laying the, the foundation here and the groundwork to get it done. First time that you're going to the Nationals. Uh, wish you all the best in Boucherville uh, coming up here May 17th to the 21st. And uh, appreciate taking some time for us here on Across the Line. Thank you very much for your time. Much appreciated. All right, and continuing on here with our coverage for Team New Brunswick. Joining us from Montreal, the captain of the MB Para team, Jacob LeBlanc. Jacob, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Hey, appreciate taking some time here for us. Didn't realize how uh, busy of a schedule you got here. Not only are you getting ready for the big uh, national uh, tournament coming up here in Boucherville, but you're also going to be representing Team Canada here uh, later on in the month uh, in Moose Jaw. Maybe tell us a little bit about your schedule here, competing for New Brunswick and for Canada uh, in the, uh, the para hockey. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a lot of a lot of work lately. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a busy schedule, um, but you know this, this is what I do it for. Uh, I I love doing anything for my sport. Um, any amount of effort is isn't too much effort for me. Um, so just being given the chance to represent both New Brunswick and my country in its entirety. Um, I, I take that with pride, and any amount of work is all right with me. So, this next month is is expected. It's gonna yeah, it's gonna be busy, and that's sort of what your coach said. Nobody's gonna outwork us, and we're gonna uh, uh, be ready to play here at nationals. But uh, you know, a pretty amazing story for yourself. Uh, you know, being uh, I guess born with a condition one of eight in the world, uh, which led you getting into I guess uh, the para sports. Maybe tell us a little about your your journey into uh, para hockey and uh, sort of what your story was like growing up. Uh, well, just like pretty much any uh, Canadian kid, I was uh, 
was always I always loved hockey. I grew up in the rink watching my uh, older brother play, and instantly fell in love with the game. I begged my parents to let me stay up to watch Coach's Corner before I had to go to bed on Saturday nights. Um, just every little bit of hockey that I could get, I'd soak it in. Um, I've I've always wanted to play in the NHL, but uh, once I hit a certain age, I kind of realized it might not work. Um, and I was finally able to be introduced to pair hockey. And ever since then, I, I knew I was going to do anything I can, take it as far as I can possibly take it. Yeah, and, and like you said, sort of even being able to play para hockey, you know, it's not like there's an abundance of teams years ago that were available. You know, how much, uh, I guess, work went into sort of getting a team in the, the New Brunswick area and really uh, sort of creating that, that team for you to play on sort of thing uh, uh, and compete against other, uh, you know, para players? It's, it's definitely taken a while. Um, a lot of hard work to uh, get where we are now mm -hmm. um, with a, an official team in Fredericton and hopefully a team in Moncton next season. Um, de definitely some really good progress. Very yeah. encouraging. Absolutely, and obviously another encouraging sign is uh, New Brunswick being represented at the national level here, mm -hmm. uh, the upcoming uh, tournament here in Boucherville. Maybe tell us a little bit about how excited you are to represent the province uh, in the first for the first time at the uh, the National Paralympic Games here. Oh, I'm very proud. Um, I, I was just talking to it with uh, the family, staying with with the family that's graciously letting me live with them uh, while I'm here in Montreal. Um, like I've, I've always loved my province. Um, I, I would, even if I end up living somewhere else, everybody that is around me knows that I'm from New Brunswick. I'm proud to be a New Brunswicker. Um, so to see the numbers or big enough numbers to have a team representing New Brunswick is huge. Um, and this this is step one to a really good program that, that we'll have in the future. I've zeroed out. Uh, we've always loved hockey on the East Coast. Uh, I I can only can only dream of how much a better program we'll have two, three, four, however how long down in the future that we'll have. Yep. Uh, like I said, right now, sort of your big part of the success on the ice, uh, competing here for the team. You know, really, this is probably a you know a lifelong journey in the sport for you. Do you see yourself sort of getting into to coaching and sort of managing some teams uh, later on as as you go as well? Oh, absolutely. Um, I, I look at my teammate Mark LeBlanc. There's Eric Eric Payne as well. Um, they're they're well into their into their years. Uh, yeah. As long as my career can go as long as I hope it does, I can't imagine at their age that I'll still be playing. Uh, but you'll definitely still find me in a rank included in the in the sport in some facet, um, whether that's coaching, managing, directing, whatever it is. Yeah. I'll definitely be I'll I'll be at the rank. I'll I'll be somewhere with ice. For sure. <laughs> like a true New Brunswick. Uh, but like you said, sort of in Montreal right now, getting ready for Team Canada here, doing some training. Maybe tell us a little about how much work you've been putting in in practice here, uh, getting ready for not only the, the Nationals here with Team New Brunswick, but uh, the international tournament you're going to here with Team Canada as well in Moose Jaw. Oh, well, you know, it's looking at the little things, working out, keeping myself in shape, uh, yeah. doing every little thing that I can to help me be my my best version every day. Um, so that's training, uh, paying attention to details at practice, just working hard, anything I can do to improve myself a little bit. I'll do it. Also, I appreciate you taking some time here for us. All the best May 18th to the 21st here at the Nationals, and uh, look forward to seeing the Team Canada jersey there as well, uh, representing the country. No problem. Thank, thank you for sharing our story.